Hey, what's up guys? Zach Callahan here. Thank you so much for checking out this video. In today's video, I have a very important concept. And I'm very excited for you to learn it and actually make it the foundation of your entire business. You see, the last video, we talked about how to build offers that convert. And I promised another video where we were going to go over how to build bait so that people get into your ecosystem. So a quick review. Just a very old tried and true concept, how to build a value ladder so you can put offers at each location so that folks buy from you based on the value you create, you can increase your price. Okay, simple concept. We'll come back to this in a little bit, but first I wanna talk about a plague, something that I think is holding back a lot of entrepreneurs in the digital media technology space in general and anyone who's a beginner entrepreneur so i got my whiteboard out today join me let's go over this let's get this tight get it right let's have some fun Okay, I'm gonna leave, leave this little ladder here for right now. All right, so something that all of us do, and listen, I've done this also, so I'm not this perfect entrepreneur who figures everything out right away. I had to work and grind and push and make mistakes to learn the lessons I'm about to show you. But my hope is that I articulate this in a way that really makes sense not only to to you as an entrepreneur, but as a human being, as, as you make choices for what, should you go right, should you go left, this steers your ship. But first, we're gonna talk about the beginner entrepreneur, okay? And listen, I was this once. Lots of times I find what's called a mechanism first. So I find an M, a mechanism, and I'm going to unpack this in a moment. I look for customers and therefore I get results in this order. For example, the virtual tour profit community. We, all of us, in some way, shape, or form can create a 360 photo, turn it into a virtual tour experience, even create a VR experience for our clients. We find a mechanism, we get excited about it, we look for customers, hoping that those customers get results from our service or our product. Very common. This is actually a beginner way to go about entrepreneurship. And oftentimes, it can lead to frustration, like you're pushing a wall that just doesn't seem to move, right? Here's why. I want you to flip this on its head. Here's what a veteran entrepreneur does. My vets. Some of y'all are in this community. Some of y'all are gonna become vets. Follow me here. The veteran entrepreneur goes to the customer, goes to the niche, picks his niche first. So I'm gonna put C for customer here, or niche. Picks his niche first, figures out which result that client or customer is looking for, then builds out a mechanism to provide that result for the client or the customer. Why is being results-centered so important? Because all customers care about is results. They don't care about the mechanism that much. Yes, they may have an opinion. Yes, they may give input. Of course, they're gonna give input. Quality, of course, matters. I'm talking about 360 photos, general still photography here, drone photos. That, of course, matters. But, and this leads to more customers, leads to a referral, referral to more customers, or it gets you more leads, but, all customers care about, if you wanna make the monies, is results, okay? So why is this 
so important. Well, I'll tell you a story. One day, I was at the office and an SEO came and pitched me. An SEO in my mind is someone who Mark, as a service, pitches to me that I will search engine optimize the website. I'll be found first on Google. And he admitted right away, hey, listen, I'm brand new at this. Been doing this for a short period of time. I said, okay. I said, but here's why I know I'm going to get you results. Because I've already done it for this niche and for this niche. And he goes into the computer, types into... Um, types in his, his customer, types in multiple different keywords, and bam, he's number one in Houston, Texas for this, for this, for this. And I'm like, okay, I'm listening. Then he start, I start to really hammer him, we'll go into everything about you know, how you're doing this, what are you do, what's your magic sauce, I ain't going to do it, I'm not going to copy you, tell me how you do it so I know you're the real deal. Okay? But the truth was, he showed me results, therefore, I had my ears open because that's the results I wanted too. I want those results. So, for, this is from one, one of my businesses. That, so I knew I was going to listen to him. The beginner entrepreneur says, hey, I have this ability, so let's say he's an SEO, okay? Let's say you're a VR provider, 360 provider, right? What, is the, what does the beginner say? Hey, check it out. I got 360 photo capability. Hey, I got a drone. Check out my drone, you need, you need some drone services? Nobody needs a drone. Nobody needs even photos. They don't care about SEO. Nobody cares about that. You know what they care about? Results. And the mechanism helps get them results, right? So yeah, they care about it. Of course, people care about the quality of the photos and the, and the, and the quality of the virtual tour and the quality of 360. But if you can get them results, then that's the, all they're gonna listen to. Okay, so how do you take advantage of this results first mentality? And how does it give you freedom as an entrepreneur? Well, let's talk about how to take advantage of it first and then we'll talk about why it frees you up mentally, okay? When you're results focused, it helps determine what mechanism or skill sets you're gonna build. So a great example is a small business owner. I'm in love with all things small business owner because you can leverage things they already know to get into the world and have a conversation. For example, GMB, Google My Business. I mean, everyone's heard about it, right? You know why? Because there, it's a backdoor way into a 360 virtual tour. Excuse my handwriting and my, my bad draw arrow here. So you got this Google My Business listing and it has multiple needs. It has multiple digital media need, which is really cool. So you have pictures, right? You have interior, exterior, 360 photos you need, team photos, all these things are things you can sell, videos, right? And of course, the 360 virtual tour. Now, unfortunately, everyone I've talked to about the, about the button that says, need to find a virtual tour provider, click here. No one's getting really much leads from that. But if you're coming to the, you're coming to the client and saying, hey bro, I can optimize you on Google Maps, and not only can I do that, it's going to help, help a lot of people come to you and find you. And here's why. You're, we're going to add, so, so now you become a marketing provider. I'm going to add SEO keywords. So if you're not SEO, but you, you, you can add search terms to their listing. You can add pictures, add metadata into those pictures, call them keyword photos, right? Market it that way. You could, you could add, obviously, a, a virtual tour. And then you go into, well, I told you last time, talking about a website, you can build a landing page for somebody. We can go into lead generation, high ticket services, right? You, th these things happen quickly when you're talking about a lower ticket item, right? You need to break in with these lower ticket items and sometimes you provide free value so that folks bond with you and say, I like this person, they, they, they just help me out for free. I like that. I'm listening now, right? You hear what I'm saying? So. The small business owner cares about results. He understands that Google Maps, okay, is a place he needs to be. And here's some, here's some quick stats. Two billion users are on Google Maps. Use this in your pitch. Two billion users are there, okay? Two billion, it's a lot. 
46% of all searches have local intent, okay? Local intent. That means that I'm looking for tacos nearby, bro. <laughs> now, if you don't like tacos, but you're talking to that customer, right? So you're gonna say, if he's, a, if he's a contractor, people that want flooring done are looking at somebody close by, right? Flooring companies near me. So if you're in Houston, Texas, like I am, and there's subsets, there's subsidies, Humble, there's Kingwood, there's Spring, there's the Woodlands, people are looking in those areas, right? So getting this thing optimized is very valuable to them. And it just, you just help them, teach them, show them, teach them for free. You can make a report that, 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 that gives them five steps to do that, right? It's an advanced strategy I'm gonna show next video. So that's how you be result centered first. They wanna be found on Google Maps, you are now the Google Maps freaking expert, right? And it's not that hard to learn. You become the expert, they're listening, and you talk about all the services that you built out and learned and became an expert in because your clients needed it, right? And that's why you became an expert in it. So don't, don't tell your client, I became an expert in 360, you should give me money. <laughs> that's silly, right? They don't care about you. One of the worst things you could do is price based on your experience. I've seen this before in our community. Hey, don't underprice yourself um, because it just ruins the whole business. It doesn't ruin the business. He's competing. If, if, you're, if you're competing in a marketplace, then maybe you have to lower down the 360 virtual tour to a lower place so that you can offer higher ticket services right after you get that first sale. That's okay. You're a, you're a competitor. Business is a competition. Okay, and you need to be results focused. You know who I love, historical, an historical figure that I think is a big deal? Dennis Rodman, let me tell you why. If you don't know who Dennis Rodman is, you should look him up. He's hilariously crazy, okay? Historically, it's really funny the stuff that he did. He always had green hair, red hair, all kinds of like different things going on, tattoos everywhere. He was not a prototypical basketball player. But you know what he did have? He had five NBA championships, okay? He had five of them. I think he won like seven Defensive Player of the Year awards. He led the NBA in rebounds like multiple times, okay? He rebounded the heck out of the ball. You wouldn't draft the guy who's great at rebounding. You draft the guy who's really great at scoring points. I think he scored only 4.7 points. But you know what he got? He got results, bro. NBA championships. That's how you should think. Don't worry about being Michael Jordan. Worry about getting results for your clients, right? That's how you get paid. So, why does this give you freedom, okay? You're not looking at your mechanism and looking at the next, next camera and looking at the next, um, the next stitching uh, app or looking at the next virtual tour software even. What you're trying to figure out is how do I get results for my clients and then get, get, get myself one case study that I can just hammer people over the head with, right? I'll give you an example. One of my clients, um, I ran a lead gen campaign, high ticket service for him, right? He's also a friend of mine. Ran this service for him. He got 90 to 100 clients, monthly recurring clients, I think in like 30 or 40 days, okay? When that happened, I built a case study showing exactly what I did, how I did it, how, how, how many results I got for him. You know how easy it is to sell when you have results? It's like butter. It's not, even, it's not hard at all, okay? So what I wanted to just share with you today is this gives you massive amounts of freedom because you don't have to worry about being an expert. Don't, be in, don't worry about being an expert in, in photography or, or post-processing. Yes, become good at those things and have your, have your team be good at those things too. But really, all you have to be an expert in Getting your customers' results. That's it. So do me a favor. Think this through today. What niche have you chosen? And am I, am I being mechanism-focused, obsessed, or am I being results-obsessed? Sweet lady messaged me named Angie, I think is her name. Um, she said, hey, Zach, I'm, I'm a digital marketer, love 360, make landing pages all the time, really good at making landing pages. She showed me a landing page. It looked pretty cool. I liked it. I said, hey, how many customers are you talking to? She kind of didn't answer. And I shot her back quick message. Hey, just, just call a few customers. Tell me, go, go, go talk to some. 
That's really the first step. You need to be speaking to customers, figure out what results they need, and then build an offer, build a mechanism around that, and involve 360 where it's applicable. And if it's not, learn other skill sets so you can offer them too. Simple, that's it. So that's the, that's the cusp of the lesson today. Get results and you'll never go hungry. Be results focused, you'll never have problems, right? And if you're worried about, hey, how do I get in front of these people? How do I talk to them? Just ask them, hey, listen, here's what we're doing. We're making digital marketing and, and digital media services for, for businesses nearby, and we have a lot of cool resources to help you that are free, but what do you really need? You tell me. That's a pretty good pitch, all right? I hope this is helpful for you today. Do me a favor, if you like this kind, of con this kind of content, we have a lot more coming. We have some advanced content on a free webinar at virtualtourprofit.com. Check it out, bro. Go there, watch the webinar. It's running right now. At some point, we have some up upcoming right now. Excited to do it. Love helping you guys out, helping you learn so you go out there and make some more money. Our new obsession is to help you make the most money you can as a digital media provider. 360 is involved in there, but also, of course, becoming a resource entrepreneur is a higher level need that you all need. And I can't wait for you to have more customers because you implemented some of these strategies and went out there and crushed it. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.